Hey everybody, this is Joe Numbers, and I had a friend request for me to do this tutorial for you guys, basically talking about low bitrate broadcasting. Okay, this is for those people who have a, oh, well, they have, let's say you have something like a 1 megabyte or a 1.5 megabyte upload speed or even less. When I first started out broadcasting, I started out with 0 0.73 megabytes upload. And trust me, guys, I've been there, and and I know th this, these are the settings that I believe, in my opinion, will give you the best quality <clears throat> for what you have. Now check this out. These are all set up for my settings currently, so I'll just give you a quick run through. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to go over here. Uh, your base resolution, you always want to leave that at your desktop resolution if you're going to be doing uh, PC games all the time, if you're going to be doing console. Um, you could do 1080, 720, depending on what capture card you have, you know, whatever works for you. But I recommend 1080 because most monitors today are 1080. Some people are going crazy, you know, with 4K, but that is besides the point. Check this out. Output resolution. Now this is depending on the amount of bitrate that you put into your broadcast. Now this can be very, very important. This downscales to the smallest resolution possible by the output resolution. I believe you can pencil it in by hand if you really wanted to. If you wanted to go any lower than 640 by 360, but I definitely recommend that to be the lowest of the low if you have to do anything like a 500 bit rate. Now check this out. When I used to broadcast back in uh, 2008, 2009, I had an upload speed of 0 0.73, like I said earlier. And if I were doing uh, broadcasting, I would do it like this. You would have Lanxos filter on, 640 by 360, 30 frames per second, go over to output, X264, CBR, bitrate about 500. This is with a 0 0.73 megabyte upload. If you have a, if you have a, a, a good upload speed like 1.0, 1.5, you can start, you know, obviously go higher on the bitrate, go higher on the quality, go higher on the resolution. You're going to have to play with it and try and figure out what works best for you. These are what worked ba best for me back in the day. And I know there are some people that really struggle with their quality. Here's the thing about this. When I ran with 500 bitrate on a 0 0.73 megabyte upload, I didn't have any drop frames. But I did always lag when I played games online. I always red barred. For any of you Call of Duty players, you're going to lag no matter what. If you really want to compensate, you can drop the bitrate even more, but the thing is you're going to lose out on what quality you're going to get. And there's only so much you can do with so much upload speed. So here, check this out. Custom buffer size, don't touch it. Leave it. All right. Uh, keyframe interval, it has to be on 2 if you're on Twitch. Uh, depending on your PC, 640 by 360 is one of the easiest uh, resolutions to broadcast with. You can set it to medium and usually be fine, but if you're on something really, really low tech, like an old quad core, maybe say you're on a dual core, you're gonna have to play with this and see how your processor handles it. I am on an i7-2600K. My computer, it can handle it without a problem, 16 gigs of RAM, 4.2 gigahertz overclocked. I can handle it without a problem, but if you have a lower end processor, you have to watch to see how much CPU you're, you're using. Because usually with uh, OBS Studio, if you're hitting about 65% usage on the processor, it, it'll pop up with, with a high encoding warning in the bottom left here on OBS, and it'll tell you that it's going to start dropping frames because of it, or it's going to start having issues encoding frames. That's, that's the proper term. So set it, I'd say, 500 to medium. If you have an even in more incredible processor, you can even try slow and see how it goes. Basically, the lower the setting the better the quality. The higher the setting, the less quality, obviously. So, but oh, th that's the cool thing about this because you can have the same bitrate but have a better quality depending on the bitrate. I mean, depending on just the setting. So there's that. Uh, CBR, obviously, you have to have that for Twitch. They don't allow VBR. Well, it's kind of a smack on the wrist. They won't ban you uh, from Twitch, but they will, you know... They, they, they just don't like it, but I, CBR is what they recommend. This is what they tell you to do. Uh, if you do anything else, it is breaking Twitch TOS, and you could get in trouble. But I'm just throwing out all the warnings, telling you guys how it works. Um, 48 kilohertz. If you want to, you can also drop the audio bitrate a little bit, too. This will help compensate, because you're doing 
500 plus 160, which is right on the threshold. If you're on 0 0.73, you can handle about 730 bitrate total. That includes audio and video. So that would be 500 plus 160, that would be 660. Uh, if you dropped a uh, AAC, which is what this is, this is the AAC encoder down to 128. Your audio will be fine. If you drop it down to 96, it'll be tolerable. You know, it won't be perfect, but if you drop it any lower than that, it, it's just, it's not even worth it to stream, in my opinion. I uh, 160 is the recommended max that they allow on Twitch, and it sounds fantastic. So don't touch that. Um. I would not use QuickSync or NVENC unless you really had no other choice. But X264 will give you the best quality with the low bit rates. And I really can't think of anything else. I think that's about it. Set, remember, set your resolution, set your bit rates, set your audio quality, and test your upload speed. Test it, test it, test it. Uh, Speedtest.net, whatever website you guys want to use for testing your upload speed, test it. If you want to, uh, if you want me to give you my opinion, drop it in the comments. Tell me how much upload speed you have, uh, according to Speed Test or whatever website that you use. List it in the comments, and I will do my best to give you a bitrate reading as to what will work for you if you have any issues. Okay, so thank you guys so much for listening to this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.